Hey guys, it's Tanya. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to tell you guys about my micro lock installation appointment. My micro lock installation appointment happened in March, so I am almost at my six month lock. I'm so excited to share you guys an update, some before and after about what my hair started out as versus what my hair is now that I have been locked for almost six months. So, um, but I just want to tell you guys about my experience, how long it took how many locks I ended up with, any pitfalls, and then give you a few tips on what you could do to make the experience easier for yourself. And then also what you might expect when you go in to get your hair done. Okay, let's start with the preparation. Before I went in, my lactician told me to expect for it to take two days. I, being naive, and like I said in another video, I thought that that meant I was gonna come in at eight o'clock in the morning, I was gonna leave at five, um, so I was prepared to be there for, I guess that would be 16 hours of um, getting my hair done. It ended up taking 32 hours total and it ended up taking three days. Um, so let me guys, let me tell you guys about why that is the case and let's get into it. Okay. So I showed up that morning with basically the same things that I had in my, uh, what I take to a retail appointment. So I had my AirPods, I had a book to read, um, and all those things. Um, I got there and the electrician had me sit, um, sit down. She actually did wash my hair at that time. And then she began to section my hair into different sections, making sure that she had the parting correctly. I would say from the time that I sat down and had my hair washed to the time where she had gotten my hair um, a little bit dried and started parting um, the back of my hair, it probably took about an hour to go through that process. She also was taking pictures as we went along. So she took a picture of my hair directly after washing it and she took pictures and I, that I'll insert in this video, um, kind of like a side by side of my hair as she was sectioning it off and putting it into smaller braids. Um, I started getting a little bit antsy about the four hour mark. I realized that it was going to take longer than I thought it was whenever we broke for lunch and she was basically only done with the back section of my hair. If you remember or if you've seen my sister lock consultation appointment, you remember that my hair is very soft. It's fine and it's low density hair. So she said the same thing that the lactician said when I was when I went in to get my sister lock consultation, um, that my hair was soft and so it was a little bit harder to get the hook to stay and gather the hair because it was there was a lot of slipping whenever she was trying to um, to do the interlocking with the interlocking tool. <laughs> time i read some books i uh listened to a lot of music um we talked for a little bit i got to know her but by the end of the first day she had she was basically done with a little bit over a third of my hair so we worked that very first day from eight o'clock and i believe i left at 6 30 that night and the goal was for the second day for us to finish the entire rest of my hair but she wanted to start earlier and the next morning I actually showed up at 6 a.m. instead of 8 a.m. for that particular appointment. So I kind of knew what to expect um, that day when I went in about, you know, how long it was going to take the process. And she thought that we would be done by the end of that day, um, the next day. So, but we quickly realized again that it was going to take a lot longer than that day. So that second day we ended up working from six o'clock in the morning. I say we, I didn't do anything. Uh, worked from six o'clock in the morning and I believe I got home at like 1 a.m. She was very determined to finish that day, but we both ended up getting tired. During the, those two days, we took um, two breaks, I think, uh, like just like short breaks to go to the bathroom. And then she did take a lunch break, which was about 30 minutes. So she was like powering through it. Um, and so she finished up that day. Actually, um, her husband came in, I think at one point, and he actually, it was really funny. He actually helped like plait up the hair that was already done because she was gonna uh, bond it all together so that she could wash it again. I don't know what the point is of um, washing it after that. I didn't end up asking her about it. By that point, I was pretty dazed and I was ready to go. So um, from start to finish, like I said, it took 33 hours, 32, 33 hours. I ended up with 532 locks and she did at the end of the appointment count the locks for me so that I would know how many there were. She also took several pictures so I could use them as like a starting point. She gave me some information about how to wash my hair, how to band it um, in order for washing. She told me to wash my hair every two weeks. She gave me some recommendations on shampoo um, too. One thing I wish she had told me that I didn't know about was about the itching issue, which I have another uh, video coming up on that about what to do uh, with the new lock itch, y'all. 
it's something serious. But whenever I messaged her about it later, she was very responsive um, to answer my questions and give me some advice on what to do um, when my hair was feeling itchy. So here are my tips for some things that I noticed um, during the process and what I would advise you to do. Tip number one. Tip number one is to take a seat cushion. That is a very, very long time to be sitting. And I don't know what I was thinking, but those those chairs that they use, um, like the salon chairs are not comfortable. And I literally had a sore bottom for like days after that from just, you know, from sitting there so long. And it was hard like to, I had to lift myself up to like adjust, you know, you put your hands down and like to adjust yourself. Like it was just painful to be sitting there that long. Number two, I would say have a contingency plan for if your hair isn't done. In the event that the the um, installation takes more time than your um, your lactician thinks that it's gonna take, I would definitely say to like think about what you're gonna do with your hair when if it doesn't work out. Number three, have a plan for itching. Have a plan for itching. And like I said, I'm going to make a video about what I did, uh, what I did to combat that. But, um, some people don't have that experience, but some people do. And it has a lot to do with like your scalp being exposed with the tightness of the, um, of the, the, in the interlocks that the person is doing on your hair. But please have a plan for what you're going to do or be prepared for the fact that your hair will itch. Cause it really deter kind of took away a little bit for me, the enjoyment at the beginning of having my hair done. Um, because I was just like, I was like, oh my God, my hair itches. So tip number four. Tip number four is to lower your expectations about what it's gonna look like after you get your hair done. Um, I know that we're gonna love our hair and we're gonna be like, oh my gosh, I've been waiting for this. I'm like so excited. I'm gonna post it to my friends. I'm gonna show everybody in my Facebook group. I'm gonna like, you know, hit the gram. And, but I would say like, whenever I, whenever I finished getting my hair done, what I thought I looked like was like, yeah. <laughs> or what my husband thought I looked like and my mom thought I looked like they were like what did you do to your hair that is not what the pictures that you showed us looks like and so there's a such thing called the ugly phase some people don't believe there actually is an ugly phase I would say instead of calling it the ugly phase maybe call it the scalpy phase but just expect when you first get it to when we first get it done for it to look pretty scalpy um I mean, like, that you're going to be excited about it, but other people might be like, oh, I'm not sure. Like, what did, this is not what you showed me from Pinterest about what your hair was going to look like. And uh, they might be a little bit shocked and or underwhelmed uh, your new hairstyle. The next thing I would say is to make sure you have plans for some food. Don't forget your snacks. You don't want to be looking around and try to figure out what they have around there. Um, and you don't want to do anything that might make your stomach upset uh, because you you have to be there. You don't want to be going home because you're, you know, torn up because you didn't eat properly or because you're super hungry or keep having to stop um, because you didn't pack enough stuff. And so, like I said, again, I have a um, a video that I will put like in a tag right around this area um, that, about like what I take with me. Don't forget your headphones. Don't forget your snacks. Don't forget um, a charger. If you have a portable charger, I will let put a link in the description below of the portable charger that I love to use. You basically charge it before you get there and it, it, you, it, you can use it as a power source instead of having to plug into the wall. And the very last thing I would say is to take pictures. Taking pictures of the process um, every time you have a chance to get up, asking that person who's doing your hair to share their pictures with you, it just really encourages you doing your journey. It also helps you document um, the journey that you're going in and the times when you feel like, oh man, you know, my hair hasn't changed, my length hasn't gotten changed, change, especially if you have fine thin hair like I do, you might feel down about it and think to yourself like, you know, um, my hair still looks kind of thin, but if you have that that experience, that really big day to look back over and see pictures, it's just like anything else, weight loss or anything. You, the progress pictures show what your memory can't remember. And so you see those pictures from the very first day and then you look at your hair six months from then, it's just a really good comparison and a, a really good way to show how far your hair has come. So that was my experience. It was 532 locks in about 32 to 33 hours and an entire season of Bones on Netflix and a, and a bunch of other stuff. I think I read a couple of books, but I hope this was really helpful to you in hearing about like how my micro lock experience went and then also some ways that you can help the experience go better for you. Learn from my mistakes. Um, and if, feel free, any of the things that I mentioned in this video, you can look down and I'll have them linked in, in the description below. 
as far as a neck pillow, a seat cushion, any of those things that you might not have that you that will make you more comfortable and improve your your uh, micro lock installation appointment. So again, like and subscribe. Um, comment below if there's any things that I that I forgot that a person might need to remember uh, when they're about to get their hair done. And I will see you guys in the next video. Okay, so let's start with the preparation. Um, my sister like to my. <laughs>